Today we're looking at one of my birches from the Grow It Bonsai kit that I started in early 2020. I actually got a lot of them to grow, but this one is in its own pot, and you'll see soon enough why it needs its own video. I just removed the top as it was a little too tall. Where I cut is literally one millimeter out of the frame, but you can see here I didn't actually remove that much. There's nothing really wrong with this growth, it's actually all pretty good. So I just removed the tips to promote the buds further down to grow. The fact that this tree isn't even a year old at this point, but has side branches, is pretty incredible. Its growth rate was just completely insane last year, even in this tiny little pot. But you'll see here a lot of the buds are in the crotch where the branch meets the trunk. This is a terrible place to have new shoots grow, so I just removed them before they even grew, so they don't need to be cut out later. Also, I really need to stop biting my fingernails. Watching this video back and seeing how much I'm struggling with this is really not what I want in my life. Anyway, a couple of weeks later, and at the end of February, the buds have started to really swell. This had been outside during the winter, but I brought it back inside, which is why it's waking up so early. I wanted to live under the grow lights during the growing season, which is why I'm able to repot it here at the end of February. As you can see, the buds are almost open at this point, so I really can't delay repotting longer. My plan is to get it into a slightly bigger pot, well, as big as I can fit. So I just started by removing the soil, and then just raking everything out. There's a lot of actually really fine roots in here. For being so young, this has a crazy amount of roots and it isn't all just one big huge tap root. You can kind of see here, it's actually got a good spread of roots, which is pretty incredible. I then just trimmed the back a bit, mostly just removing the thicker roots. So this is what I was left with. It's not too bad. Well, actually, since it's a tree from seed that's about to turn one year old, it's pretty incredible. Everything about this tree's growth has been incredible so far, so I hope it keeps up the pace for the next few years. I then just pottered up in the old classic ice cream pot. They're the perfect shape and size. I would like to use something a bit bigger, but from what I can accommodate, they're just perfect. And you can see here, it's gonna have plenty of space in there to grow out for now. And here it is a few weeks later in March. All the leaves have started to open and it's looking pretty good. But if you come in and have a closer look, look at this. I can't remember the name of these things, but I'm pretty sure it's like the Birch's version of a flower.
Feels like this tree is a couple of years old, when it literally was a seed a year before this video was taken. And there's more than one, which is mind blown. In April, it's crazy how much growth is on this thing. It's under the grow light, and I think it's really making it grow even faster than normal. Because there isn't much room in my grow tent, I had to take it back a bit. I just trimmed back the top and a few upper branches and left the bottom ones alone, which should kind of help keep it in proportion. Here it is from the side, you can see this tree is going to be huge. I'm very excited to see what happens with it in the next few years. In May, I've literally got a full-size bush inside my house. My mind is blown at the growth rate on this thing. So I just did the same as before and clipped back the tips, just to bring it in a bit. You'll see in a second that I changed location so it can actually fit it all in the frame. But I actually got myself confused at some point in June or July. I decided to fully defoliate it and I didn't even film this. So clearly I was very confused. But more importantly, you shouldn't defoliate these. It totally messes with the energy balance. Which is why in August I have this mess. It was covered in buds, but basically only the buds right at the tip grew, and then a lot of new shoots shot out of the base of the trunk. It's just a load of bare parts and just buds that didn't open. Basically a mess, and you really should not defoliate your birches. Of course, nothing has really changed since September. You can see some leaves are huge and some are tiny. It really messed up the energy distribution. So I've probably set this tree back a bit, but I'm hoping this spring it will kind of correct itself. It's really weird looking and I have no idea if the buds that didn't open will just open this spring or what's going to happen. The good thing is that it is young, so it shouldn't really suffer from this long term, hopefully. So yeah, I guess I learned that the hard way. I really have no idea what I was thinking at the time. I clearly wanted to try and get some more branching and it was healthy enough to take it. It's just that you don't defoliate birches. I can't believe I didn't remember that or didn't even double check. But anyway, it's, it's done now. It's still looking pretty green in November. You can see a few leaves change in colour, but it's still pretty bright in that grow tent. And here we are in December, where it's pretty much dropped most of its leaves. After I shot this video here, I removed the last few leaves and then put it in the shed, which is where it's now, just chilling. There's not much going on with it at the minute, but I'll bring it back inside soon and hopefully it will cover from my stupidity and go crazy again. Thanks for watching, see you next time.